Are you going on a princess cruise? Today I'm going to be sharing with you 10 things that we absolutely love about cruising with princess and I think that you will too. Hi there, I'm Ilana from the website lifewellcruise.com. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. Now in today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you the things that, well, we just love when we cruise with princess and the things that make us feel right at home and at the same time like we're going to have the absolute perfect most relaxing and fun vacation. Now if you're new to Princess, I hope that this video will help you to plan and to look forward to your next Princess Cruise. And if you're a Princess Cruise veteran, please let me know if these are things that you agree with, if there are things that you would add, if there are things that, well, you could just add to this video or even things that you disagree with. That is okay too. Please let me know in the comments below. Now before I get started, I wanted to mention that if you like this video, if you find it helpful, informative, enjoyable in any way, then please do give the video a big thumbs up. I really do appreciate it. And of course, please subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. Let's get started. So now this list of 10 things is in no particular order, mostly because I just couldn't make up my mind. So let's start with something that everybody likes, and that is cruise food. So the Princess cruise food is just really, really good. And it's definitely something that we love about cruising with Princess. And we definitely reminisce and think about the Princess cruise food as well. So the variety that they have on Princess combined with the quality of food is really something that we appreciate on Princess. So all during the day, there is so much food to eat in terms of casual options. Of course, there's also the main dining room, but in terms of the casual options, you have the poolside pizza. It is so good. You have the poolside grill. My husband and my son just love some of those grill options, including the sausage sandwich and the hamburgers and the chicken burgers and the french fries. I like the french fries too. And then the buffet. There is so um, much options that are really of good quality in the buffet as well. And everybody's favorite, I think my favorite is really the International Cafe. So at the International Cafe, from the amazing breakfast options like breakfast sandwiches and yogurt and granola and fruits, I love that fruit bowl. And of course, the donuts, look out for those Nutella donuts, they're so good. Um, but the lunchtime, oftentimes what we'll do is we'll actually go on an excursion and we might come back for a little lunch or a late lunch and we'll just stop at the International Cafe and I might have a shrimp salad or the mushroom salad or the Waldorf um, salad, the Waldorf chicken salad and these sandwiches. So whether it's a croissant with chicken or whether it's a croissant with ham or a pressed panini with tomato and mozzarella, you get the idea. I love to eat. So these are all things that we have on Princess. And that isn't even to mention the specialty things that they have that don't even cost anything extra, like the British pub lunch that is really worth going. Um, I'm going to leave a blog post below with a lot of the different options, the food things that are free on Princess Cruises or included. So I'll leave that in uh, the description below so you can check that out. But there's so many good things. And afternoon tea. All right, I got to keep going off the cruise food. But if you love Princess Cruise food, or if you like cruise food in general, please let me know in the comments below. Number two, the activities and the entertainment on Princess Cruises. The activities are so varied on Princess that there really is something for everybody. And that is really hard to pull off. But we were on a multi-generational cruise, well, about three years ago now, where our youngest in the group was seven and our oldest was 77. And everybody said that they found something to do that they loved. And it was really, really perfect. It's not just something that they say in the advertisements or in the brochures. There really was something for everybody. So whether it was painting in the atrium that my parents really loved, whether it was the kids club, whether it was the poolside games, whether it was Zumba, a fashion show, there was always something to do. And of course, in the evening time as well, there are those Broadway style shows, or if you prefer the piano bar, there's that two uh, game shows, just always something to do on a princess cruise. And we definitely love that. Number three, the medallion net. Yes, the internet on Princess really is that good. Now, a few years ago, when we first cruised with medallion net, I was honestly amazed at how fast and reliable and reasonably priced the internet is on Princess Cruises medallion ship. So I definitely think that this is a plus. 
And even if you don't want to be connected all the time, the fact is that perhaps you have children at home if you're going on a vacation without the kids and you want to, you know, get in touch with them over FaceTime a couple of times a day, you could do that so easily. And in my case, I don't like to actually work very much when I'm on vacation. It really is still my vacation. I take some videos and stuff to do some work later. But while I'm on the cruise, I try to kind of decompress and I love cruising so I like to kind of get away from it all but I do probably work about an hour a day on the internet and this way I can get on to the internet quickly get off of it right from my poolside lounger with a pina colada so this is good Number four, the elegance of Princess cruise ships. And this includes the Piazza, which is that central hub, that atrium that Princess Cruises has. And it's kind of unique actually to Princess. Now this area, this Piazza houses the International Cafe. I just love the International Cafe, but as well, it has guest services. So it's really just this convenient hub. It has bars, including crooners, one of our favorite places um, on a princess ship. It has some shops if you like to do a little retail therapy like I do when I'm on a cruise. So really just such a beautiful place to be. And we know that almost whatever time of day that we want to go to the Piazza, that something will be happening. So whether it's a trio of musicians that are playing, that's really nice. Other times there might be in the evening time, a sort of game show or a dance competition to see always something going on. And you know, at other times, it's a quiet place, maybe after dinner, if we don't want to have dessert in the main dining room, we might decide to go over to the Piazza and to have a little dessert at the International Cafe and sit and listen to the music that is playing and just talk in a less formal atmosphere. And we just absolutely love the Piazza. I'd love to know if you've cruised with Princess, what do you think of the Piazza and of the Princess cruise ships? Number five, Princess cruises are romantic. Now, I do think that every cruise is romantic. Perhaps it's the sea and the stars. There is just something about the romance of the seas. But Princess cruises in particular, after all, they are the love boat cruise, but they really do seem to bring out the romance, whether it's the wonderful dining in the main dining room. You can have tables for two, of course, or it's the movies under the stars where you can actually have a blanket and cozy up in the outdoor air or the balcony breakfast and the balcony dining, which I have to say, I keep saying every cruise I have to try, but sometimes I don't have a balcony, so it doesn't work out. But there's just so many opportunities on a princess cruise to really kind of feel the romance of the seas. Now, I did want to mention something that I thought was really nice and really special on our last Princess Cruise in January 2020 on the Crown Princess. And this was that there was a group vow renewal as an activity that was done in the Piazza. It was officiated actually by the cruise director. It was really nice. And there must have been about 100 couples, perhaps more, that signed up for this. It was really so touching, really, really beautiful. And I thought it was a really nice thing that Princess did offer this. Of course, you can still have vow renewal ceremonies um, that you can pay an additional fee for. But just the fact that this was a free activity, I just thought it was a really, really nice touch. Number six, Movies Under the Stars. Now, there are so many things to do on a princess cruise, whether it's day or evening, but in the evening time, I'm thinking about the show as you can go dancing at the disco. There's a lot that you can do, but sometimes you want to take it easy. It's been a long day, perhaps, and as much as it's been fun, you want to cozy up under a blanket and you want to just catch a movie. Well, you can do that on a princess cruise. And even though this does exist on other cruise ships, I just find that Princess does it really, really well. Perhaps it's the fact that you do get those cozy blankets and you get popcorn that can be delivered right to your seat. There is just something about watching a movie at nighttime under the stars that is special. And they do have movies during the day as well and cartoons for the kids and lots of different things to see if you do like that as well. Number seven, I love Ocean Medallion. Now, while we talked before about Medallion Net and that is the actual internet and you do have to pay an additional fee for that, the Ocean Medallion is actually free or included with every Princess Cruise. And of course, it's that wearable device, that smart device that will just kind of help you along on your cruise. So from opening your cabin door to some of the games you can play, if you like that, to having drinks brought to you or food brought to you in different places. It just makes a cruise so much more convenient. But I have to say the feature that I've just 
always loved, I'll probably always really like it is the find your shipmates. So if you lose your husband or your wife, or you just want to actually find where they are, or your teen son, which has happened to me, then you can find them with find your shipmates. Number eight, the friendly, helpful crew. Now this really should be very, very high up on the list because after all, if we didn't have such a friendly crew, how could we even have such an amazing vacation? But the service on Princess is really good. These staff go out of their way to make the vacation great. And it really does feel like home. Every time we are on a Princess cruise, we just have this really homey feel and we know we're gonna have a great time. So if you are a Princess crew and you're watching this, thank you for everything you do because you have absolutely made our vacations, which are so important in our lives for all of us. You have absolutely made them wonderful and you make it look so easy. So thank you. Number nine. Now, did this need its own category? I don't know, but I like the Princess Cruise drinks. I just think that they are really good. My favorite Princess Cruise drink of all time is the BBC or the Banana Bailey's Colada. It is so good, so decadent. I look forward to this every time I cruise with Princess. It is so good. In addition to that, my favorite bar on Princess, the one we love, is Crooners. It's not available on every ship, but most of the ships, but we just love it. The martinis are amazing there. My favorite is the toasted almond and Frank, my husband, his favorite is the lemon teeny. Please let me know what your favorite Princess Cruise drink is in the comments below. Now, before I get to the next point, I did want to ask you, are you enjoying the video? And if you are, then please do give it a big thumbs up. I really do appreciate it. At the same time, I also have some videos that I'm going to leave at the end of this one that are all about Princess, so a Princess Cruise playlist, and I will leave some blog posts all about Princess with some tips and tricks in the description below. So without further ado, number 10, it is the past passenger perks or the loyalty program, the Captain Circle program. It really is very good from the discounts that you can often get right away when you are booking to the perks that really are quite good when you do several cruises with Princess. And I do think it is one of the reasons that they have so many repeat passengers. So one of the things that we think is really just awesome is that when you get to a certain level, you actually get free laundry. I just think that is like heaven for a vacation if you actually have free laundry services on a cruise and a free mini bar setup. So please let me know if you have those perks or if you're working up to those levels, please let me know your thoughts on the past passenger program as well. And I have to say, there are so many repeat passengers um, on Princess when we sail and they are so friendly. I think that Princess cruisers are some of the nicest cruisers that we've ever met at sea. They're well-traveled, they are friendly, they are always up for a chat and we really do appreciate that about cruising with Princess. Now I'd love to know from you what do you like best about when you cruise with Princess. If you did enjoy the video please give it a thumbs up and please subscribe. I'd love to have you here within the Life While Cruise community. Bye for now. Happy cruising.